Hello everybody. Uh, today I'm making this video to uh, tell you guys I'm gonna do a I'm gonna start a video series on a, a whole bunch of different turbines uh, that I've been uh, experimenting with. And uh, as you can tell, this is a pretty standard turbine. Uh, there's nothing really special about it, um, except for the motor. I, I really do enjoy using the treadmill motors, but free treadmill motors are getting really really hard to find now. And uh, used to be able to find them really cheap on eBay, you know, brand new ones for like twenty, thirty dollars. But now, last time I looked, you can buy used ones for like a hundred dollars. So that's not even realistic anymore. Uh, so all the experiments I'm going to be doing is with this motor right here, and I'll, I'll give you a close up. This motor is a twelve volt DC motor that is actually an automotive motor. It comes out of a, um, I believe it's a radiator fan basically is what it is. And the reason why I'm going to start using these, uh, they only cost me two dollars used. There's a, a junk air that I go to um, that I can pretty much buy these all day long and they're, they're two bucks a motor with, with the full blade attached to it uh, which um, I didn't use for this application. I just uh, cut the, the blades off because they only come out about this far anyway so it's not what I need. Uh, but um, a good thing is, you know, they're, they're two dollars, but a bad thing that I've noticed is that um, you really need to get them going really, really fast to even get a, a decent uh, voltage out of them. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be uh, testing these guys out, and I'll, uh, you know, make a video of probably each one as I'm testing these out. And um, also what I'll be doing, too, is testing different blade designs with this motor. And uh, these blades basically I just threw together. These are from a 4 inch PVC um, pipe basically, a 10 foot section. And um, like on the turbine, which you might be able to see in the video there, that one has the 6 inch of PVC blades. And uh, those work really well, but the problem is for a, a 10 foot section, it's like $35. And for a 10 foot section of the 4 inch, it's like $12. So um, just the, the cost alone is worth, you know, trying and hopefully find a, a right design for these that these are uh, they're real good because they're just so cheap. You know, and I got a $2 motor, the blades. Um, this size, I figure if I, uh, out of a 10 foot section, I can get 24 of these blades uh, for, for 12 bucks. So that's. Uh, pretty good right there, pretty good savings. So uh, what I'm going to be doing, uh, the next clip you'll, you'll see here, I'm going to be testing this in the, uh, the back of the truck. And I don't recommend doing this at home. Uh, it, it is kind of dangerous. And actually what I um, will be doing, I'm going to get a motorcycle helmet, uh, probably in one of the future videos. Because these things, once they just start spinning, it, it's a little scary actually when they start making that noise. If one breaks loose, you're you're in trouble. So, um, I will be uh, getting that motorcycle helmet hopefully pretty soon. All right, go to uh, eight, please.
Okay, uh, so that was uh, fun and scary at the same time as always. And um, and I got the numbers for you. Um, this one is, as expected, uh, because it is you know kind of small, at 15 miles an hour, which is as fast as I want to go with with these things, uh, you know, whizzing by here without without the helmet. Um, at 15 miles an hour, I got about three volts out of that. And I'm sure you guys are thinking, well, that's that's nowhere near enough. Well, you're right. Uh, three volts is, is not enough for, for one motor. So um, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to start putting some of these motors in series. So you know, one motor would be three volts, two motors would be six volts, you know, three motors, nine volts. And uh, what I'm going to have to do is actually put a, uh, a Zener diode on them also. So if they all start spinning at the same time in a really heavy wind, it's not, you know, way too much power. It's just going to, like, you know, fry whatever it's attached to. So, um, let me go ahead and show you this motor real quick. Uh, so this is, I actually have a, a lot of different size of these radiator motors, but this is almost the standard size. And I just have uh, one circle clamp on here to uh, hold it down. I probably should have used two because it was a little wobbly as I was testing it, but it was all right for, for one. And usually they have a couple prongs sticking out of them, and you know one's a positive, one's a negative, so that's no big deal there. And I'll show you the front. On the front here, if I had enough room to, to stick one big bolt, you know, I, in there, I just unscrew that, drill the hole through, attach that on there. But on the uh, treadmill motors, the the hub comes out, you know, right around this section, so you have more room to stick another bolt in there. But these I didn't, so what I had oh, that's even kind of loose. Uh, so what I had to do is, I used these 90-degree uh, brackets here just to attach it to the side uh, so they wouldn't start, you know, uh, moving on me or anything. Um, so um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a, a few turbines with uh, multi-motors on them. And uh, what I've noticed, because I actually have, like, ten different drawings of turbines that I've designed that have, you know, two motors, four motors, six motors, you know, uh, stuff I've never seen before. I've looked on a Google image, and I've looked all over YouTube, and I've, I've never seen a motor, or a, a motor, you know, turbine that has all these kind of blades and motors and stuff on it. So, um, that's what you're going to see in the future is uh, me testing and trying to get, you know, two, four, six, motors on one turbine because uh, you know you got a two dollar motor even if you use five or six of them you know you're looking at twelve dollars that's it's not that big a deal and you know if I use these blades which uh, I will be experimenting with different lengths sizes um, you know if you can get 24 blades for you know 12 bucks that's that's pretty darn cheap too so uh, most of this is uh, pretty reasonable, so I will. Uh, that's what the video series will be of me just experimenting with all my different designs that I've made and stuff. So, okay, I appreciate you watching the video. Take care as always, and God bless.